Hello students, and welcome back to Hexit Education. Today, we're going to be, going to be continue, continuing our arc on the, on the uh, Better Dungeons castles with the Lake Castle. Now, I must confess, I've never actually raided this one before, but I'm guessing it should be in the, in the same category as, as the Cathedral or even the Necromancer Castle. So I'm kitted out with, 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 with diamond armor, with a diamond giant sword, Got a, a pickaxe and, and an axe just in case I need them. I have a crystal bow with two stacks of arrows and half a stack of fire grenades in case stuff gets gets uh, scary in there. So we should be in pretty good shape to go and take this thing out. If we run into trouble, I may reassess and bring out my hunter's handgun, but I don't think it'll be it'll be an issue. So let's see how this goes. Now the lake castle is you can always tell it's a lake castle because it always spawns in kind of like this. It, it's like it, it always has like a depression. It comes into normal land, but look closely down at the bottom it looks it will always have some kind of a, of a lake or river around the bottom of it it's roughly cubic in shape now let's be confused with, with uh this different kind of castle i think it's called a we castle which actually is a cube and that, that's, a, that's a separate castle so look if you look around uh, the the edges you will you'll eventually see the proper opening it's right around here somewhere and we'll be going in through the through the, through the main areas yep oh uh, it's all lit up all lit up for us anyway so getting down is going to be, um, well, just like falling off a cliff. And that guy's not spawned yet, so I'll have to go on fighting. Here we go. Hello. More snow goblins. Whoa, that, yeah, definitely more of them. I, I, I guy took a bath. Can you get back up? Oh, I guess he really can't. Oh well. You hang out there. Oh, or die. Oh, we got spawners. And we got something shooting at me. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Whoa, -ho. that's a lot of zombies. I'm trying to feel a bit like DayZ in here. Glad I brought the. Whoa, whoa. Where'd he come from? Forgot about the pickaxe. Okay, there's stairs upstairs. Oh, it's a little way out. Oh, I gotta check those guys. I think. Whoa, whoa! Holy crap! I, I think I think those little staircase uh, peepholes refer to hidden passages. At least I think that's the way it is in some of the other uh, dungeons castles. So I'm assuming it's the way, same way here too. Okay, so where's the other spawners? There's gotta be more than one of them. Where are they? Must be, must, be, must be upstairs. Okay, so let's, let's check this out first, because I want to see what happens when I break open this wall. Nothing. Okay, let's try the other one. If it's possible, let's just, let's just refer to the external walls. But I'm fairly... Well, there's, there's got to be more than one spawner. This can't be just one. Check this. Yeah, I think I think those are just external holes. Okay, so we should check because it's possible they put a couple in there as part of the algorithm. Or there's, there's actually no algorithm in this. In this, I think it's just a pregen. So it's possible that they put those as red herrings to throw us off of the ones that really are. Oh wow. Things are glitching, there's so many of them. Getting a lot of XP here, but it's at a big cost. Okay, this room clear. Next room. Got it. We got a snow goblin. Where is... Whoa! Oh, nice ambush, guys. I gotta I got hand it to you. And 
in the words of uh, General. Oh, we, we got a sticky. Got a sticky. I hate these guys because they steal my weapon. Sticky poisonous. I think, I think we got him. Fire grenade. Oh, they set me on fire too. This thing is freaking infested. Okay, I think I would definitely recommend an enchanted uh, diamond giant sword for this. I can hear them all over the place, but I can't see. There. We've got a spawner. Yeah, I don't think the fire grenade is that useful because these guys keep coming at me. We got one spawner down. What? Oh, I didn't even see the staircase. Okay, so it's possible that, the, that these these little holes are what? These little holes are meant as like an escape route. So if you, you get too much in too much trouble, you can go out that way. Okay, this way leads upstairs, but I'm not ready to go upstairs yet. I haven't cleared down the, clear this floor yet. Let's go over here and see what's this way. This way leads out. Where is he? Ooh. Cool. That's handy. Nice little prize there. I'll take it. Okay, let's keep moving. That walkway's got me a little worried because I'm not sure how to get up to it. Let me light it up a little so I can... Oh, wow, that's not just a walk. Whoa! I think we found where some of these zombies are coming through. Okay, so let's, let's head back and pick our bearings here, shall we? So, main room. Left, clear, zombie. Right, clear. Okay, so it only is up this way. Confusing me is where do these things keep coming from? I need to find their source. I can shut it down. Take me to your breeder. Yeah, this way is closed. This way, yeah, I guess this is the way up. It's possible that it's not parallel. It might, might just be okay. This looks like the first catwalk we saw. It splits off in two directions. Right is clear. Zombie. Hmm. The zombies can. Whoa. Spawner down. What is shooting at me? Something's not right here. You know, I bet it's, I bet they just keep coming down from from above. That's what it is. We need to get you need to get up in order to in order to stop them. Makes sense. Standard battle tower techniques. Okay, go here. 
and hello, Defender, and a, snow, a regular Snow Goblin. Left and right, left, oh, treasure room, or kitchen, whichever one, kitchen, uh, nothing in the furnace, anvil, and cauldron. Okay, I've definitely been picking up uh, some arrows here, so it's hard to tell how much I've actually used, but, wow. I'm just spamming. Nothing else I can really do at this point. Zombies be dropping out the sky. Okay, I gotta keep moving ahead. If there isn't a head. Oh, crap. Okay, this could really use a hunter's handgun, but I'm, I'm, all, I'm already in pretty good shape, I think. just need to eat something when I get a chance. Zombies let me breathe a little and eat. Okay, down, down. Whoa, what was that? I think the zombie just glitched somehow. These peepholes got me worried. I'm wondering what the heck they're for. I mean, it could just be for view. It's just like a reminder, look at the outside world. This is what you will never see again. <laughs> I'm imagining that the the, builder, the owner of this place is a evil, maniacal uh, European genius. I mean, I mean, you know, I think, I think it's kind of racist in a way. I mean, it, where, where, where are all the evil, maniacal you know, African geniuses? It's like, hey, man, we be taking this out, yeah. Or I think that's Jamaican, not African. I can't really do an African accent. Or maybe it means Middle American. Hey, we may we make up this place and we go blow it up. If you come after us, I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna cut you with my sword and then I'm gonna throw zombies at you. Okay, another snow goblin. Is that guy? That's an infernal. Wither, quicksand, sapper, ghastly. Take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. He's not dead. He's down. And there's a spawner over there. I'm still withered. Uh, I'm in pretty good shape. You go down. Ah, come on. Come on, I gotta get the, get the spawner. I can't see. Sorry. Backing up, backing out of the room. Uh, plus, I think I've gotten at least th three zombie heads by now. A lot of large numbers I get. Probably get quite a few. Come on, torch. Torch! Oh, there's a chest over there. Head back up, let's head up. I think we've got to be fairly close to the top by now. Whoa. We don't need no water, let the motherfuckers burn. Burn, motherfucker. Burn. The goblins are defending the zombies. They're in cahoots. Down. Okay, we're close, but we're not out yet. If we are not high and dry, then we could be, we could be said to be at least moist. Another chest over here? No. Okay, moving on. Kind of the pathway. This looks like it's the top floor. Hello. Oh, that guy's a healer. Hey, healer, you're not supposed to smack me with your healing staff. Interesting. 
interesting. So when I when I set the the snow goblins on fire, they can't they can't set me on fire, but the zombies can. Interesting. Uh oh, lag. No, nope, not the anvil. Fire grenade. I'm just getting some lag here. Set you on fire and I shoot you. I think another spawner around here. Why is there a light? It's the roof. It's moonlight. Okay, we got we got a zombie. Okay, I think we made it. I don't think there's a boss. I think, I think this is it. We head to the top of the lake castle. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's no, uh, there's no basement in this thing. I think it was all just up. So, okay, give me, give me a minute and I'll give you the loot recap. Be right back. Okay, let's see what we got. We got pretty much a double chest full of loot out of, out of that raid. We have an Enchanted Efficiency uh, 2 Diamond Shovel. Not terrible, actually, for early game stuff. We got Feather Falling and Protection 4 Boots. Not too shabby. Again, we, we went in there with, with, with diamonds, so, you know. We got an anvil, useful. We got uh, the various metals, tin. We got some diamonds and emeralds. Nice on the on the emeralds there. We got music. We got four zombie heads. We got an enchantment table. Nice if you already have one, you can certainly use the uh, the sledge to get fifty percent chance to, to get the diamonds back on that. We got some food. We got five chocopedias. This is what I'm saying before. This is a very common item. You'll find them all over the place. Once you find one, you don't need more than one. So we got some emerald shards. We got more than ten emeralds. We got a couple essence and a hexical diamond. Oh, and also we got uh, some some Paju Zulu scale boots, and we got a stack of lawn from off lawn. So all in all, not too bad. Our armor uh, is uh, oh, I got actually kind of beaten up. So it took about a third durability. Uh, diamond on unenchanted diamond armor. If this was enchanted, which probably should have been, it uh, wouldn't have taken so much damage. And I would say that the diamond, diamond and giant sword was fairly good. If it had been enchanted, it'd be even better. Same thing with the bow. Um, I, I think we came with just, with just the right amount of amount of gear. I, I would have you been useful to use the hunter's handgun, but I think it might have been overkill. The fire grenades were somewhat useful. I was actually surprised by them because they they were effective on the snow goblins, but when you hit the zombies with them, the zombies set you on fire. So not necessarily the best thing in the world. But all in all, not not too bad. I'd say this is definitely a mid-level uh, raid. Didn't take us too long. So. It's been Kankadia for Hex Education. Class dismissed.